Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, nerd leagues of all ages, welcome to this week's Tavern Brawl. Now, you thought me being on the other side of the world was going to stop me. It is not 9,000 miles away, and I'm here to first give away some free Hearthstone cards. Congratulations to Jordan, who wins the packs for this week. An email is going to be on its way to you very shortly indeed, and of course, all you have to do is respond before the next brawl. Those cards will be yours, or they will be given to the next place, so make sure to check your emails if you entered last week. Now, exciting times and questionable times for some as the new heroic tavern brawl finally hit the decks this week. So what does that mean? Blizzard have very openly said that the new tavern brawl is not for the faint of heart and it will require a lot of experience. Why? Because, let's go ahead and go to, to this screen here, it costs a thousand gold or 10 US dollars to enter or 7.99 if you live in the UK because our exchange rates have gone too um, so I'm pretty sure that would have used to be $5.99. Super sad. But anyway, it's very simple. You create a single deck and you have a run at it arena style. If you lose three times, you're out and the goal is to get to 12 wins. So this is a little bit controversial because this is answering a lot of players' calls for a high risk, high reward kind of tavern brawl. But who does it actually cater to? If you take a look at the rewards for winning, it's actually quite interesting. You get to 12 wins and you get three golden legendaries, uh, 50 packs and a lot of dust and gold. It obviously looks good. But at the same time, you have to question, well, how much of this is actually a bit of a gold vacuum? Because for every 12 wins, there are obviously 12 losses, so four different players getting dumped out. And each of those players have spent a thousand gold. Now, I personally wonder a little bit about the timing of this as well, because we know that Mean Streets of Gadget Zan is going to be coming out soon. And if that's coming out soon and it's a new expansion, I wonder if some people are going to have no gold left to buy cards. Hmm, conspiracy theory much. I'm not sure how much I buy into that, but the timing of this certainly could arguably better uh, from a player's point of view. But anyway, it's quite interesting, and obviously the big pull for all of these players is being able to see a screen like that. That's pretty boastful, to be honest. If you're able to get to this sort of screen, it's absolutely superb. So this week, I'm not going to be playing through terribly my version of what I think the Tavern Brawl is, although I will be playing. What I am going to do is show you some of the pro players' deck lists so you can have a gander yourself at what you think you might want to play. Uh, at the same time as well, you need to remember that there are only five opportunities for each player to go into this tavern brawl. So choose your decks wisely and play very carefully because you only get five shots at this and then you won't be able to enter again. I mean, that's a maximum of 5,000 gold you could be spending. So if you have that much lying around in pocket change, then why not? But just remember, there is a hard limit on how many times uh, you can play this brawl. So let's take a look at some of these deck lists. I'm going to go from left to right. On the left hand side, we have an Azoth Control Warrior, and that was piloted by Firebat, uh, basically as soon as the Tavern Brawl went live. And he went 9 and 3 with this deck, so it's uh, particularly powerful. But then we move on to the Dragon Priest in the middle, and I have to feel a little bit for RDU here, because uh, I watched him towards the tail end where he got 11 and 3. Very, very close to getting those maximum 12 victories with this Dragon Priest deck, and I believe Kibler was also running something similar, so go ahead and check him out if you want to get that deck list. And the one on the right I have a little bit of a personal connection to. It's the Reno Lock deck run by Amaz. And there's a bit of a story behind this. I'll let you, I'll show you guys what I mean by that actually. So there's a bit of a bit of an interesting story on Twitter where I watched Amaz get to 10 and nil with this Reno lock deck. That's pretty impressive. At that point, I tweeted out and tried to get more people to watch the stream because it was quite interesting. I'd seen him play his last three or four matches. And after that, uh, because it was in the morning Melbourne time where I was, uh, I was rushing to go do something else later on, and I needed to go for a run. So I thought he's 10 and nil at the moment. I should be fairly quick with my run and hopefully come back to see the celebrations. So I did that for 10, 15 minutes. And then I came back to this, and I saw this while I was out on my run, and I thought, uh-oh, that can't be good. Artosis curse much. But then I got back home, 
and had a quick shower and came back to my computer getting ready to uh, play some Hearthstone myself, and then I got this. <laughs> so Amaz went to 10 and nil. Then I tweeted about it, and apparently he lost three games very, very promptly. But I think this is genuinely a super, super strong deck to take into this Tavern Brawl. And note as well, none of these decks uh, are mid-range Shaman. So for those people expecting just to see non-stop Shaman, I think you're going to find a very interesting variation of opinion. Because what you don't want is a deck that gets so hard countered by something else, you have no chance to win. Um, and obviously every deck has its strengths and weaknesses, but you're trying to look for a versatile deck that you can play in multiple different ways, that you could hopefully win against any deck. Or even if you're not favored, there are still ways to come out with a victory. So uh, I think there's going to be plenty of variety on what kind of decks you face. I also think this Tavern Brawl is a little bit of a gold vacuum, but I do think that if you have a lot of experience playing the game, you're consistently hitting those legend levels and you think you can mix up with the best of them, the kind of prizes you can get might actually be worth it because don't forget, let's go ahead and get rid of that for a second. It's not that great until you hit about seven or eight wins, to be honest, when you get eight or nine packs plus the additional benefits for the thousand gold you put in. But really, once you start getting to 10 plus, it becomes absolutely mega. So hopefully, if you're feeling like you might be able to do that, then definitely go ahead and give this a go. I would say for it to be super worth it, you need to be getting 9 plus wins, really. Um, so it all comes down to your experience and how confident you are in this brawl. Now, that's going to be it from me for this week, but you are still going to be able to win some free Hearthstone cards, so make sure you go into the video description and go ahead and enter. Good luck, and I will be drawing the winner next week before the next Tavern Brawl begins. So I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. Let me know what you think of the Heroic Tavern Brawl. Who have you watched? What kind of results have you seen them post? And what kind of decks do you think you're going to be playing? Or was there something that you played yourself that was particularly good this week? Let me know in the comments, and I will see you next week for more Tavern and brawl. Take care.